and should dialogue fail, there are alternative dispute resolution mechanisms that we will still embrace. And one of them being peaceful protest, another one town hall meetings, another one holding rallies. As you can see, by virtue that Kenya Kwanzaa picked a member of the Jubilee Party to be part of that bipartisan committee shows you that they are doing it in bad faith. It is not in the spirit of negotiation. It is undermining. They are treating that committee with a lot of contempt. But who are having a challenge in this situation are the Kenyan citizens. This issue must be resolved as a matter and must be treated as a matter which is very important and urgent. And the roadside declarations which are being made by, the, uh, by Mr. Rigad are very unfair, are belittling and undermining the sovereignty of Kenyan citizens. And I want to remind him that he should stop such, such roadside declarations because this nation is not about him as regarded. Number one, he's very unwashed, he's very agricultural, he's very uncouth, he's very unkempt, and he who comes to equity must come with clean hands. That is one of the maxims of equity. And number two, there's a principle called in law, volenti non fit injuria, that they are contributing to their own injury by make, making this inflammatory remarks that is annoying, that does not go well with the spirits of Kenyans. That's causing a lot of consternation and discombobulation of spirits among Kenyans. And therefore, holding public barazas and or holding town hall meetings only satisfies one of the requirements of the principles of war that negotiate as you negotiate, you advance. So as we negotiate, we advance. We will not abandon the talks first because the talks are already starting. We want to see what they bring in the talks. Should the talks fail, then we have an alternative, which is the streets. The alternative are the people. Let the people decide for themselves what is good for them. <coughs> to answer that is very simple. We have issues that we raised, issues of concern, issues that affect the common monainchi. Number one, number one being the cost of living, the price of unga, which must come down because it is part of the issues of concern that are, that are affecting uh, the lives of Kenyan citizens directly. Number two, issue of IBC is very fundamental because development should never come before democracy or rather democracy should come first, should come first then development to follow. Why? Because you can never separate politics from economics. The economy of this state, the economy of a nation is dictated by the political activities of that nation or rather the political activities of a nation are determined by the, uh, or rather the economic activities of a nation are determined by the, by, by the political activities of that nation. Electing poor leadership leads to poor development. Therefore, what we must go for first is the cost of living. Secondly, is IBC. Because if we wish away that, then we will never get development because we will always get poor leaders.